Their majestic American icons and their Super Bowl commercials are priceless. Hi, I'm Taylor Pelfrey, your Miss Leesburg. I'm here at the 2016 Clydesdale Christmas Special. The excitement is overwhelming. We've had calls all day, not only from people here in Lake County, but across the coast. Let's go interview some people and see what they're most excited about. I am so excited. I have been excited for three or four days because I'm just so excited to see these Clydesdales up close and personal. Think of the Clydesdales, what do you think about them? I think they're fantastic horse. They're great big, they're beautiful. I can't imagine. Hey Julia, how are you? Good. So how excited are you to see these Clydesdales? I'm really excited. I love horses. How big do you think they're going to be? I think they're going to be huge. <laughs> This fun-filled event happens. Let's head down to the fire station. I hear they have a fun treat for us. So Chief, I hear we have a special fire truck leading the Clydesdales down the parade. Tell me a little about that. That's correct. Uh, this is the 1927 Chevrolet fire truck that we have in Leesburg. So did this fire truck actually function right here in Leesburg? Yes, it did. This was one of the first stop trucks that they had back in the day. Uh, the, the department itself was not professionals at that point. They were all volunteers. So this was actually owned by the citizens of Leesburg. And did it take a lot to restore it? Yes, it did. Um, some of the parts were actually fabricated from metal shops around town. And like I said, uh, the, the members of the department also played a part in restoring it, where they stripped the paint off of the, the old ladders. And uh, this truck was disassembled and then uh, refurbished and assembled back together by the Leesburg Fire Department, especially Lieutenant David Richardson. And uh, since then, it has become an icon for the different parades that we have. So what does it mean for the Leesburg Fire Department to be leading the Clydesdales down Main Street? Oh, I think it's a, an amazing experience. It's very humbling to lead such a team that's been around for ages. I think it's very iconic. I'm kind of jealous that Todd gets to ride on the fire truck. Do you think I could ride on the back of the fire truck? I think so. We can probably work something out. I'm here with Al Minner, the city manager. So tell me the significance of having the Clydesdales and their antique hitch come to Leesburg. You know, for the city of Leesburg, this is such an honor to have the, uh, the Budweiser Clydesdales come to town. It's a, it's a great Christmas present for the community. Uh, you know, the, the Clydesdales are internationally known. The partnership deserves a lot of credit for their connections to be able to bring them here. And I think the community and the city commission is really proud to sponsor this great event for the community. So Derek, you're the public information officer. What kind of response have you been getting about this event since it's hit the news? Since it hit the news, I've been getting calls for like three weeks, maybe four. And actually, as I looked out of my window here in City Hall earlier today, over three hours ago, people were already showing up for this event. And I've actually received calls from other counties. So this is huge, big response. This is a big response. And what does it mean to Leesburg for the Clydesdales to come here for the very first time? Well, because they've never been here, and because these, I don't know how many hands they are uh, tall, but they're legendary. Uh, they are, they're, they're world famous. So to have any kind of celebrity world famous come to Leesburg is a big event in itself. But also there are lots of people in the area who just love horses. And to see the Clydesdales, which are pretty much the king of horses in my view, is very exciting. And how excited are you to see these horses? Can't you tell I'm really excited? <laughs> What a beautiful backdrop we have, the big beautiful Christmas tree and the Clydesdales are coming and they have their antique hitch and the Leesburg Swing Band is playing. Tell me a little about this. Well, we, um, the Leesburg Partnership and the city of Leesburg were chosen to um, have the appearance from the, Lees or from the, Wayne, or the Anheuser-Busch Clydesdales because we have been such good supporters of Wayne Dench and our events and we do so much for the community that we were chosen by Wayne Dench to have the Clydesdales and we are very fortunate to have them. How cool is it that the Leesburg High School Band is going to D.C. to represent us? Yes, that is awesome, and we are so happy that they're going to be able to perform tonight and let all of Leesburg, which we expect a lot of people, see what they're going to do and represent our city in Washington, D.C. That's pretty awesome. Hi, I'm here with John, and of course, the 10 beautiful Clydesdales. Thank you so much for coming for Le to Leesburg. I'm sure it was a long trip, and of course, with those 10 big horses. How long have you been working for the Clydesdales? I mean, this seems like a pretty cool job. Yeah, I've been uh, doing it almost five years now. I mean, it's a great job. I get to go and do a lot of cool events. Like I said, I've been on commercial shoots. Uh, I mean, I've been to Super Bowls, opening days, small town events like this are really, you know, some of the best events that we get to do throughout the year. You know, re people really come out from the community and support us. So it's really good to be here tonight. 
what in preparation took in order for you guys to come down here to Leesburg today? Um, we started at 7 o'clock this morning. You know, we did our uh, usual routine. We uh, cleaned the stalls, came in, uh, groomed the horses, vacuumed their bodies, uh, washed their white feet. We'll always have to have the legs looking white, nice and clean. Um, you know, and just kind of kept them clean throughout the day. Then we uh, cleaned harness, uh, cleaned all the tack. It takes about five hours. Uh, we uh, loaded the horses up and we uh, drove. It took us about an hour to get here and uh, we're here now, we're ready for a good show. So there's a lot of excitement here. You see the crowd, it's huge. They've been lining up for a couple hours. What are you guys doing in preparation to get them here on Main Street right now? Uh, well, yeah, it was a great crowd rolling up too. One of the largest we've seen in a while. And uh, so we've got the wagon uh, out right now. We're polishing up the wagon. Then here in a couple minutes, we'll start getting the horses out and grooming them up again, brushing them off, getting their hair combed out. And uh, we'll start putting their harness on. And one by one, uh, we'll get all eight of, eight of them hitched up to the wagon and we'll be ready to roll by 7.30. And what do you look for when you look for a Clydesdale horse? Um, they have to be about 18 hands tall. A hand is four inches. It's the general measuring practice of a horse. Uh, be roughly 2,000 pounds. Uh, be a gelding. Bay in color, which is like the darker brown. They have to have the four white stockings and then the black mane and tail. So why a gelding? Uh, we uh, only use geldings because they generally get a little bigger and we breed all of our mares to have the best chance to have uh, another or Philly with the right markings. So, uh, I mean, we have pretty strict standards, so that's one of the main reasons why. So, the Super Bowl commercials are iconic. Have any of these horses that we have here today been in, in any of those commercials? Yes, actually a few of them have. We shot the commercial, I think it was about three or four years ago, where we welcomed the soldier home. It was actually shot down here in Florida, and it was this hitch, and uh, we still about have half the horses that will be showing tonight were in that commercial. So, it's a great commercial for our soldiers coming home. This might seem like a silly question, but I have to ask, because you know the reindeers, they have names. Do these beautiful horses have names? Yes, they all have names. Uh, we'll have, uh, we'll have. who do we got in the lead? We got Sparky and Cash in the lead tonight. Then we'll have uh, Jack and uh, Rock right behind them. And then we'll have Denver and King in the body. And then the wheel horse, which are the closest horses to the wagon, we'll have Rocco and Donnie pulling the wagon. So, How much do those things eat? Uh, they eat about 30 pounds of hay a day, and then for their grain, it's between 6 and 10 pounds uh, a grain a day. So they got a pretty big appetite that they uh, have. Um, so, I mean, they're a 2,000-pound animal, so, I mean, they're going to eat a lot. So do you think these big, beautiful horses know how special they are? I think they know, especially when we roll up the big uh, events like this, and they get to see all the crowds and the excitement. So, you know, they're excited for their job. They're ready to go tonight. John, thank you so much for this Christmas present to Leesburg. I know everyone is looking forward to it, and I, of course, am so excited. Thank you so much. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having us tonight. It'll be great. Thank you. Why did you guys choose to come here to Leesburg? Uh, well, we've always had a great partnership with uh, Lees, the city of Leesburg, the Leesburg Bike Fest, and the Mardi Gras, and, and all the things we do down here. So we just figured, you know, we feel like we've been so involved with this community. You guys have been so great to us that this would be a perfect place to show off these beautiful horses. Well, they are beautiful, and one already tried to kiss me. <laughs> but these people that have come here, you know, they want to come to more events instead of just the Leesburg events. So is there a website that they can check out for more events with the Clydesdales? Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you go to the Anheuser-Busch page, they put up where the Clydesdales are. Or if you go to our page, waynedench.com, uh, you can see where they're going to be the rest of the week. How unique is it that you brought the Clydesdales and the antique hitch here to a small town? Oh, I think it's a great thing. I mean, Leesburg has a beautiful main street. I think the uh, the old wagon kind of goes with that theme. I think it's great for this Christmas time with the Christmas lights. I just think it's one of the most beautiful streets that we could take this hitch down. Well, I am so excited, and you see the crowd here. They've been excited for days, and we can't wait to see the beautiful horses. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having us.
hope you enjoyed this Clydesdale Christmas special. From my pageant sisters, we wish you a Merry Christmas. So Olivia, what do you want for Christmas with Thea from Santa? A thousand cats. A thousand cats? Do you think Mommy can handle all those cats? No. No? <laughs> Taylor, what do you want from Santa this year? A four-wheeler. How do you think Mommy feels about that four-wheeler? Um, bad. Do you want to ask for a helmet as well with that four-wheeler? Yes. Julia, what do you want from Santa this year? I want a golf cart from Santa. Why do you want a golf cart? So I can drive it around my neighborhood. Well, there you have it. That's what they want for Christmas this year. Wait a second, Miss Weesbrook. What do you want for Christmas? Well, Olivia, I think I want a dog. I've waited a very long time for my dog. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I'm Dr. Anna Marie from Lakefront TV. You know, I love dogs, and I got to meet Clyde. Clyde, so what do you think about this whole Clydesdale Christmas parade in Leesburg, Florida? What, it's not about the horses, it's about you? What? What? Okay, I think uh, Clyde is ready to get this parade started. What do you think? You are too adorable. You don't want to miss the Clydesdale Christmas Special only on Lakefront TV, your hometown station. <laughs> We're on behalf of the Leesburg Partnership and the Wayne Dench Distributors in Sanford, who brought this hitch to us, we really thank you. And it's been a great evening, one of the huge crowd that I've seen in, in many years downtown. Um, we're excited to have the uh, Clydesdales here and we hope to have them back again soon. Hi, I'm Taylor Pelfrey, your Miss Leesburg. I'm here at the 2016 Clydesdale Christmas Special. We have a fun-filled event ready a fun-filled event ahead of us, but before we get started, okay. Hi, I'm Taylor Pelfrey, your Miss Leesburg. I'm here at the 2016 Clydesdale Christmas Special. Before the fun-filled event happens, I'm Taylor Pelfrey, your Miss Leesburg. I'm here at the 2016 Clydesdale Christmas Special. Before this fun-filled event happens, let's head down to the fire station. I hear they have a fun treat for us. Okay. What do you want me to do cartwheels? Okay. Yeah. Right. So pretend you're not there, but. But. Okay. It's fine. So Battalion Chief, I hear we have the antique fire truck. Ah. <laughs> okay. It's leading the Clydesdales like down the parade. Like too, right? oh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Taylor Pelfrey, your Miss Leesburg. You don't want to miss the Clydesdale Christmas special only on Lakefront TV, your hometown station. Woo! 
We hope you enjoyed this year's Clydesdale Christmas special. On behalf of myself and my pageant sisters, we hope you have a most joyous holiday season. Merry Christmas! So are you going to be Miss Leesburg someday? Yeah, yeah. Say, you're watching Lakefront TV. I am watching Lakefront TV. I say, you're watching Lakefront TV. You're watching Lakefront TV, I mean. Sorry. <laughs> On behalf of the city of Leesburg, we wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. <laughs>